Now, this is a quick presentation on the fact that if you have a set of concurrent Chevians, A, P, B, Q, and C, R, that, con that concur at a point X, and you reflect each Chevian across the corresponding angle bisectors, then you obtain new Chevians, A, P prime, B, Q prime, C, R prime, that concur at a new point X prime called the isogonal conjugate of X. Okay, so the fact that we have a set of concurrent Chevians motivates us to apply Chevis theorem. And uh, Chevis theorem, in its trigonometric form, says that sine PAC, that would be, that would be this, sine PAC, PAC, this angle, times sine QBA, this angle, times sine RCB, this angle, this this angle right here, divided by BAP, this big angle, so sort of the complement with respect to A of the first angle, times sine CBQ, this angle, times ACR, this tiny angle right here, is equal to 1. And we know that by the trigonometric form of Cheva's theorem. And what we claim is that to prove that the th these three Chevians are concurrent, we do a very similar thing. And uh, we just uh, construct Cheva's trigonometric um, theorem, and we claim that this should be equal to 1. That's our claim. Now, because we're responsible, we are um, isogonally reflecting, or reflecting across the angle bisector, we have some fairly obvious angle equalities. Uh, these two angles, P prime, uh, BAP prime and PAC, uh, these two angles, that should be a little more clear, I think, uh, to be specific, uh, that would be RCB, and ACR, ACR, sorry, that should be ACR prime, yeah, of course, RCB and ACR prime, and uh, similarly, you can make a one-to-one -one correspondence with uh, the ones in the denominator. This is just due to the fact that we are reflecting across angled bisectors, and if you want to visualize it, uh, there is one such angle bisector, such that C A, I guess we could call this point Z, C A Z and B A Z are same, the angles. Now because these angles in direct one-to-one -one correspondence are equal to these angles, then clearly the product of respective product and quotient of their signs should be equal. And that shows that the respective product of their signs and etc. is 1. And, and by the converse of the trigonometric form of Cheva's theorem, these three points are concurrent.